Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the different types of ending clamps that are used in Indian Railways. Also we will see the different type of color coding scheme that has been recently issued by RDSO regarding the ending clamps. This is the circular that has been issued by RDSO regarding the ending clamps in which they have marked 150 square mm feeder ending clamp as white. 130 square mm large span wire ending clamp as red and steel wire joint clamp as green. You can easily download the RDSO drawings for all the ending clamps explained in this video from the link given in our YouTube description box. The first one is large span or LS wire ending clamp. Its assembly RI number is 1140. As per RDSO, the LS wire ending clamp has been marked with the color code red. It is used for 130mm square cadmium copper wire and it is having three parts, the body, the socket and a cone. All the three parts of LS wire ending clamp is made up of aluminium bronze. The body RI number is 1131 and it is also mandatory to write 130 on the body of the LS wire ending clamp. The socket RI number is 1102. The main component here is the cone which grips the wire. Also one must double check the cone of the LS wire ending clamp before providing it and has to make sure that its RI number is 1143 only. The next one is the feeder wire ending clamp and its assembly RI number is 1130. As per RDSO the feeder wire ending clamp has been marked with the color code white and it is used for 150 mm square cadmium copper wire. It also have three sub parts, the body, the socket and the cone. And here also it is mandatory to write 150 on the body of the. The body has a RI number of 1131. The socket has a RI number of 1102 and it is same as in the case of LS wire ending clamp. However, in feeder wire ending clamp, the RI number of the cone is 1104, which is the only difference between feeder wire and LS wire ending clamp. And this was the reason why RDSO has came up with the color coding scheme as there were few failures that have happened due to the provision of wrong cone provided inside the ending clamp. The next ending clamp is the steel wire ending clamp and its assembly RI number is 1360. RDSO has marked it with the color code as green and the reason why it has been included in the color coding scheme is because its body is same as that of the body of feeder and LS wire ending clamp. It is used for 93.3 mm square steel galvanized earth wire and it has three sub parts the body, the socket and the cone which are made up of aluminium bronze. The body has an RI number of 1131. The RI number of the socket is 1361 and RI number of the cone is 1362. Next one is the catenary wire ending clamp and its assembly RI number is 1120. It consists of three sub parts the body, socket and the cone which are made up of aluminium bronze. It is used for 65 mm square cadmium copper wire and having a diameter of 10.5 mm. The RI number of the body is 1121. The RI number of the socket is 1092. And the RI number of the cone is 1094. And it is the most commonly used ending clamp in Indian railways. Next is the contact wire ending clamp and its assembly RI number is 1110-2. It consists of a body and a wedge which are made up of galvanized cast iron. It is used for 107 mm square hard drawn copper wire. The RI number of the body is 1118 and the RI number of the wedge is 1119. The demonstration here shows how the wedge is inserted in the contact wire ending clamp. The last one is the regulating rope end fitting and its assembly RI number is 5128. It consists of a body and a thimble. The body is made up of aluminium bronze and the thimble is made up of aluminium alloy. 
It is used for a stainless steel rope of length 8 meters and a diameter of 8.65 thereby having a cross sectional area of 58.76 mm square. The RI number of the body is 5341 and the RI number of the thimble is 5129. On which topics you want our next video to be, please mention it in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.